Emergency banana's in the air. Let's talk about the mirror and then a tin of baked beans. So I popped it here next to the desk. I've still been burning Christmas candles with all the storms we've been having. Can you put the lid down? I can't see it. <laughs> Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a vlog for you. There's a few bits that I wanted to show you around the house, so I thought I'd just do a bit of a vlog today and we can have a little catch up. So I hope you're doing really well. I've just made myself a coffee. I'm going to be heading out shortly for the afternoon, but I really fancied coffee number two of the day. I think the number two is my favorite coffee. Mm. Um, yeah, grab yourself a little drink and settle in for the vlog because we are going to be doing a few bits and pieces in this one. Um, yeah, I just thought we'd have a little catch up, keep it nice and relaxed. We're going to be meeting up with Luke shortly. It's Friday the 13th, so that could be interesting. We don't always have the best luck when we shoot together. We're going to be shooting some outfits later on. And we've got some props today, so I'm going to be taking a stepladder out with me. We really are asking for trouble, aren't we, on Friday the 13th, but that'll be really nice to catch up with Luke. And then, yeah, I wanted to show you a couple of bits around the home. And also, um, I was back on the slow cooker uh, recipes yesterday. So I think what I'll do now is insert what I've been doing with the slow cooker. I've been doing a bit of batch cooking, so I've made some chilli and some spag bol. Let's not talk about the pasta situation, <laughs> but here's what I've been up to with the slow cooker. So into my slow cooker, I have added 750 grams of 5% minced beef, and I've chopped up two white onions. So what I'm thinking for this one is we will split this and make two meals. So I'm gonna put that on high and let that do its thing. And then we're gonna do two meals with this. So the first one we're going to do is going to be my favorite a chili con carne so i'm just going to add a jar of the chili con carne sauce really reasonable along with a tin of the mixed beans you could just go for straight up kidney beans i'm going to add some baked beans to the chili so this will just bulk it out and i think that will make it taste really nice i know that ketchup can make chili taste really good so i thought we could throw some of that in is baked beans one of your five a day i think it might be and I'll probably throw in one of these cartons of tomatoes as well. And then for the next um, meal, so with half of this mince and onion, once that's cooked, I will add to that these Italian cherry tomatoes in tomato sauce, along with some sliced mushrooms and a jar of bolognese pasta sauce. And for spaghetti, I love to add some garlic as well. The more the merrier for me. So, two meals there. You've got your chilli, you've got your spag bowl. That is if you can get your hands on any pasta. I couldn't. So for the sake of this video, we won't be seeing the spaghetti bolognese. But if I do manage to get any, that is certainly something that I'll be looking forward to. In the meantime, I can box all of these up. You can put them in some food containers, store them in your fridge, and all of the items that I'm showing you for these recipes are things that you can keep in your cupboards or in your freezer in the case of the meat. So things that you can have in ready for a rainy day and when you want to make something from what is in your cupboard or your pantry or your press or whatever you call your cupboard where you keep your food supplies. Let me know if you've got a name for it. I've got one down here where I just shove it all to the back. So this has now been on for a couple of hours, pretty much cooked. And all I'm going to do is spoon out half of the mince and onions. And while you're doing this, obviously you can drain any fat away, which is probably a good idea. So first of all, I'm going to add the tomato and next up the chili con carne sauce and then a tin of baked beans. And finally, a tin of mixed beans, which I am just rinsing off camera. <laughs> You've seen me do this before. And in they go. This has made absolutely loads. I'm gonna leave that now to do its thing. Leave it for a couple more hours. It's all cooked, so to be honest, you could just whack that in a saucepan if you were in a hurry and just do it for 10 minutes on the hob, but nice and easy. Job done. You could sneak a few vegetables in there as well, chop up some carrots, maybe add some extra greens in there. I might sneak in a bit of spinach before 
I dished that up as well just to get a little bit of extra greens in there. So with the remaining half, this is obviously already cooked. So I'm going to add into that these Italian cherry tomatoes. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know it'd be like that. <laughs> I thought they'd be chopped. All right, um, okay, we'll just go with the flow. We'll add, what am I gonna do with these? I'll just mash them in. If you've got a potato masher, get it involved at this stage because that isn't what I was expecting. But I think that'll be really nice regardless. In fact, maybe it will add a little something. What are you saying? You naughty spag bowl. So we're gonna add to that. Obviously chop some mushrooms if you've got them in, but if you haven't, we're doing it all out of the cupboard. So sliced mushrooms. And then all we're gonna add is a jar of bolognese pasta sauce. Ta-da! Now I know what you're thinking. <laughs> You could just do this in the saucepan. But obviously the convenience here is the fact that this, we can pop that in the fridge, leave it in there in a container. And then when you're ready to make this, you can just throw all of that either into a pan and we'll add our garlic and we're good to go. Fingers crossed, I'll find myself some spaghetti. I just thought I'd show you that I've actually put these into these food containers so those will be really easy to stack up in the fridge for a different evening or maybe a nice lunch. And then the chilli is done. I don't know why it's so runny. Maybe that was the tomato situation. But we'll get some rice on the go and that will be fab. And I'm actually going to use one of these pulses and grain sachets and these only take two minutes to make. I think they're just a little bit healthier. They've got whole grain rice, lentils and wheat berries in there. And these are from Aldi. So yeah, hopefully that's given you a bit of inspiration. You can do some batch cooking yourself if you fancy it. And yeah, I've had both of those now and they're both really good. I had the, um, the spaghetti bolognese mixture actually with some grains in the end, which was slightly random but sort of worked. So <laughs> I think once you sling a load of mozzarella on anything, anything works quite frankly, so um, that was nice anyway. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to update you um, on the bedroom because I've actually hung the mirror that I got from B&M, or oh, my shoulders just clicked, sorry, <laughs> from B&M, and um, it's up. So you may have seen the homeware haul that I did recently. I picked up the mirror when I went down to see Kate in Norfolk and it was the bargain price of £14. So let me show you how it's looking now I've hung it on the wall. I'm really pleased with this. So I've got it above the chest of drawers here in the bedroom. Excuse the towels that are drying hanging over the door. Where do you dry your towels out of curiosity? Do you have um, a certain place that you put them that's not particularly sightly? Is that the word? Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Let's talk about the mirror. I'm so pleased with this for 14 pounds. I just think it's such a bargain. I mentioned in the haul that it reminds me of one you can get in Habitat that is a bit bigger, but very similar. And that one's 195 pounds. So really pleased with this little setup. And I put this on Instagram and had a few comments about this statue here. Um, this I featured so long ago um, on my channel, one of the very first few videos I think I made. So I've had it a while. It actually came from Flying Tiger, and this was a statue that was actually in Trafalgar Square for a while on the plinth. So you may have seen in Trafalgar Square in London on the plinths they have different um, art installations, and this was one of them. Whoops, it sort of got stuck there. Um, and it's by David Shrigley, and it's a sort of limited piece that was released in Tiger. And I really love this because it is a positive message about London. It's thumbs up London, basically. And obviously, living in London and... Whoops, come on, focus. Yeah, living in London and being very passionate about this city. Um, it's just a really nice little reminder um, of why I love living here. Because, um, yeah, it definitely gets the thumbs up. That's so corny. Oh, I'll just quickly show you my hands. I faked tanned last night because um, of taking some photos today that have got a bit of a summer, spring, summer vibe. So I thought, let's sort this out. I thought I've done an all right job with the wrist situation, but I wasn't sure how to do a fake tan with a beard. It's new to me. So I wasn't sure whether you go into the beard line or not. And then I just sort of like half went in and then it all got a bit, yeah, <laughs> I would say patchy is the word to describe the situation. But um, 
we'll go with patchy, it's fine. I think in the photos it'll look all right. If I, if I just do this, that's a good pose, right, for the gram. The other thing I wanted to show you is this candle. This one is from Lidl. Oh, it's burnt funny, I need to trim the wick. Um, but yeah, really like this. I've been burning it of an evening and it is kind of like a, I guess like a white company dupe and this was 3 99 I think they still have them in store. And with it being lavender, it's just really lovely to burn at bedtime. So over here, I've packed a load of bits that I will be um, taking photos with today. So I've got a few pairs of shoes and some accessories. My camera's in there. I've put it in the hamper because um, I'm going to be using that as a bit of a prop, I think. And also I've got one, two, three, four outfits here ready to go. And yeah, I think I'm sorted. Hello mate, just on my way, I've got ladders in hand. Ladders on Friday the 13th. What could possibly go wrong? I'll just show you the first outfit that I'm wearing for today. I'm really excited that I'm going to be working with Matalan over on Instagram. So if you want to give me a follow over there, that's where I post all of my outfit photos. So I've been through their website and picked out my favorite pieces from their new in collection. And one of them was this shirt, which is really reasonable, I think, for the price. And yeah, I just really like the simple stripe design, very classic, the kind of thing that I wear all the time. And then I've teamed it with some stretch fit chinos, which I've just rolled up a little bit. And then these shoes, which are kind of like an espadrille slash loafer. I guess. <laughs> I'll pop a little link in the description box for all the clothes that I'm wearing today in case you fancy treating yourself or somebody that might want to wear them. <laughs> right, I think Luke is nearly here, so I'm gonna get all the stuff downstairs and ready, and then, um, yeah, time to take some photographs. Drop me in this, by the way. Yes, <laughs> 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 of course. Drop me in your video, by the way, chap. Oh, here we are. Got a little plane landing. Yeah, oh, oh it's an aeroplane. <laughs> oh, is it? It's a train. Oh. <laughs> We heard like, there was that? a helicopter earlier and we thought it was an engine problems. It's Friday the 13th, yeah. guys, it's Friday the 13th. Yeah, so we have made it to the park. We're at a place called Bel Air House, which is just near Dulwich Village. Um, taking some photos, so... Oh, it's beautiful here. It's yeah, so nice. do you like it? I adore South London. Yeah. I really do, especially this area. Yeah. Nice to have you back on the vlog. I know, also, I'm sorry that I'm not wearing a very um, spring appropriate outfit. I think this is more appropriate for the UK, to be fair, with the storms yeah. we've been having. I feel like I'm a bit premature. Nope, I think <laughs> affirmations. That's you it, yeah. In the hotter weather, it comes. Yeah, Indeed. that's why I got the fake tan on. Absolutely. But let's, on. that's a mood. So. <laughs> We've got a few photographs to take. Mm. Um, so we've just done one over there, and then uh, Luke's gonna do one sat on this yes. log, is it? Yeah. Yes, sat on the Very on, nice on outfit. The one of wood. <laughs> Very nice. So we'll get cracking with that. Should we get lunch? Yeah. I'm feeling a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I was about to say after yeah. five days work, we've, we've, we've been out for an hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we always need the food. Get some lunch. I have got bananas in my bag. All good. Yeah, I just in case. I came, so good I'm man. all banana up. <laughs> right, let's go. Are you good to go? Poking you. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> camera to swap my trousers. Yeah, I'm actually quite enjoying this blue. Blue yeah, and blue. Nice, isn't it? Very nice. I it's like not what I expected. I just look like a um <laughs> it's I'm just chilling here like yeah no <laughs> Outfit. I really like this shirt. Oh, that's lovely. Nice colour, isn't it? Very, very nice. Yeah, Luke's just getting changed into a jumper. Where's that from? Uh, this is um, J. Lindenberg. It's, it's, really it's nice. a Swedish brand. Yeah. It's, it's very nice. Oh, it's zip up, like a, almost yeah, like a cardigan. Yeah, very yeah. nice. That'll be on Luke's Instagram very soon. There we go, there's our handles. Thank you, mate. Doing Cheers a new thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've given you a little logo on yours. Oh, have you? Yeah, oh, you'll like it. I think it was a, a, mix, a mixer. Oh my god. 
Yeah, we've just spied some parakeets. Just see one there. And obviously you can spot these because they're green. And if you can see it, there's another one up there. Emergency banana Emergency. in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, uh, we've done. How many thanks, for my you. Ah, how many Welcome. Hours? Truly, I um, don't think I'd be able to look after myself if it wasn't for you. <laughs> it's the it's, it's a banana supply. Amongst other things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mostly bananas. Mm. I've had three bananas today. Good man. I mean, I'd probably pay for that later. I'm surprised these haven't started disappearing off the shelves. Mm. It's true. I wouldn't be stocking up on the pasta, I'd be stocking up on the bananas. <laughs> mm. So yeah, we've done a few pictures. Mm -hmm. We've done two each. Yeah. So that's four. Four looks in total. We're yet to get the ladder out. Mm. So I've got the ladder, you've got the chair. Yeah. Yep. And that's what we're about to do now. This is a really high quality invigorating content, guys. It's emergency banana time. <laughs> Here we are in Tully's like Park. this outfit. Yeah? I'm we off have... a run. <laughs> and I'm off, I don't know where I'm off to. I really like this, mate. I've got the black version of it. Lovely. Have you? I yeah, do. It's nice, isn't it? It's Good very spring. Nice. Absolutely. Right, little quick workout. I'll do it in my pleather. Cheeky drink. <laughs> oh, it was all going so well. We, did, we, we <laughs> literally just heard, it was like, oh. It was like. Oh, we've been building a suspense and I've been like, what's happened? What's yeah. happened? It's not that bad. Oh no! Yeah, we've tried to wipe them, that's not working. I'll get a little um, tissue out, we've come prepared. The best thing about shooting in the parks, we always get <laughs> dogs coming to say hello. <laughs> oh, do you want to play? Can you put the lid down? I can't see it. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> All right. I think so. Let's go. Where are you? Where are you? There he is. <laughs> Scene one, action. I was worried you'd blow my reputation. But the vegan is not on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way you're making me shake your hands on myself, I keep pulling the trigger. Yeah, it's all right. This way. I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Good. The one thought I had was to put this. I was thinking to shoot through it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm in the blood like, mm -hmm. Fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The internal cognitions of Mr. Carrington. Yeah. If you want to see and check out his Instagram, it'll be on the screen right now. Hit me in the edit later. <laughs> we have finished shooting and we're now in Gales in Dulwich Village having a nice little bite to eat. We've gone for, well I've gone for a sausage roll, we have gone for a spinach and what is it? Spinach and feta. Very nice. It looks lovely. It's one of my favourites. It's lovely. <laughs> Gosh. You still turn me on, you can make me whole again. One, two, three, Coke oh, this, this is the speech. It's very heartfelt. If you change your mind, oh, wow. don't be too late. Because I just can't go on. It's already been too long. You can make me whole again. Looking back on where we first met. I cannot escape and I cannot forget Baby, you're the one You still turn me on You can make me whole again I've just got home. That was a brilliant shoot. I thoroughly enjoyed mixing things up a bit. We had some props on the go, we were fiddling about, chair was sinking in the mud as you may have seen. 
But yeah, I think we got some really good pictures, so those will be coming soon on Instagram. So I've got a bit of the old admin to do. Um, it's half past five, so I'm going to crack on with that for the next hour or so and hopefully bash through that. But I wanted to give you a quick update on something else I wanted to show you in the home that was from my homeware haul, and that is the Tiger shelving, the rattan shelf that I popped up last night. So I just screwed in a couple of screws into the wall here in the um, office slash spare room. It's still a bit of a work in progress in here, but I'll just show you where I've put it. So I've popped it here next to the desk set up. So I've got the um, Ottoman style desk here, which is really good because I can close work away once um, I finish work. <laughs> um, and this is the shelf. So I've just put a few little bits on here. And yeah, I think that's looking really nice. I'm quite pleased with that. And you might notice this little DIY that I did. So this is a mason jar, as you can see. I actually used this for um, some Christmas DIYs that I did with Wilco. Um, but I have now turned it into a phone jar. So the idea with this is that I will actually lock my phone into this for periods when I want to be creative and I do not want distractions. So doing the stuff that I do, I feel like Throughout the day, I'm trying to do lots of different things in the various jobs that I do. So creating content and then having to deal with the sort of admin side of things can make my brain ache. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. It can make me get a bit of like brain fog and I feel like I'm trying to do too many things at once. And I'm all for a bit of multitasking, but I think too much multitasking means that we kind of we're just not focusing on one thing. I know for me anyway that that's often the case. So what I thought I'd do is every now and then when I want to really knuckle down on something, when I'm shooting a video or when I'm just really wanting to concentrate for a bit, lock the phone away. It's so easy to reach for it and have a quick look and then before you know it, you're sucked into whatever it is, a bit of social media, a bit of email hell, <laughs> anything like that. So I'm finding that if I actually lock it away, I can just give that window. And if I'm worried about like the time, I can just set an alarm on it and then maybe just pop it in there for an hour and then the alarm will go off and it will ring and I'll think, okay, I'll get my phone out now, I better check what's going on. And yeah, it seems to be working quite nicely. So I've been doing that a little bit and I found that it has sort of helped things along. This shirt I've got on now, I can't remember if I updated you on this one. This is a Ralph Lauren shirt that was from the charity shop. And I'm really pleased with how this one's looking. And it hasn't been ironed or steamed, but it's not creasing. But anyway, talking of um, distractions, I better crack on with the work I need to do. Give me a reason to get out of bed I need a minute to think Or maybe two Cause yesterday I lost control And said some things I felt that you should know Good morning, I it's the next day. I'm just off um, to maybe have a look around some charity shops this morning. I thought it'd be nice to have a little look around with you and see what's in the thrift stores. It's been a while. And leave it all behind. It's gonna be okay, no matter come what may. I'm gonna set things straight tomorrow. I let my worries fade, let them sweep away. There'll be another day tomorrow. I keep repeating the same mistakes mm. I did them all before In every shape There's a million ways to mess things up And I need some time to figure out what to say And make our troubles disappear It's gonna be okay, no matter come what may I'm gonna set things straight tomorrow Let all our worries fade, let them sweep away There'll be another day tomorrow Let all my 
appreciation mug it's an old one that I picked up from new look and yeah I hope you enjoyed the little look around the charity shops with me just now let me know in the comments if anything caught your eye I only picked up one thing which was this candle that I saw in old life charity shop in Peckham and I really like the look of this because it's in this nice glass container so it caught my eye and also the fact that it's got the three wicks and it smells really good too it smells slightly Christmassy, but I have still been burning Christmas candles with all the storms we've been having. And this one's actually from Dunelm, so I haven't um, been very familiar with Dunelm candles before. So if you've um, burnt them before, or if you've tried them out, let me know um, what you think of them. But this smells like it's going to be really nice and a good quality one. This was £4, so not the cheapest for a charity shop, but I really loved the um, glass container that came in. I'm sure I could reuse that afterwards as well, maybe um, do a little do a little plant set up in there perhaps, maybe with some gravel. I could plant my mini um, succulent babies, the ones that I propagated, they still need to be replanted, so maybe I could pop a few of those in there afterwards. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I think I'm gonna edit this this afternoon and I'll get it up for you this evening. So hopefully you'll be watching this on Saturday night. And if you are, I will be back bright and early tomorrow morning, Sunday at 8 a.m. with Kate McCabe, where we will be bringing you some white company DIY. So we just keep poking. <laughs> so we've got four items that we are turning into basically like white company 
dupes inspired decor type of vibe. And yeah, I hope you have a really good evening and enjoy the rest of your weekend, whatever you're up to. Let me know what you're up to as well in the comments. Um, I've been watching something called This Country on BBC Three, which I've been really enjoying. It comes out every Monday. So I think um, it's the third season or series of it now, and that's on BBC iPlayer. And I've been really enjoying it. It's about, it's like a mockumentary kind of thing. For anybody that comes from a small village, you will probably really relate to it because the characters in it are just so funny and also so familiar <laughs> to anybody who comes from a small village. So yeah, I've been thoroughly enjoying that if you're looking for something lighthearted and funny to watch. And also I've really been enjoying Charity Shop Sue here on YouTube, which is a YouTube series as well. The episodes I think are literally like eight minutes long and it is so funny. It's another kind of mockumentary style comedy as well. So if you're looking for something to give you a laugh, I highly recommend both of those. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Do give it a little thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to click subscribe if you are new here and you can catch me over on Instagram to see what I'm up to. It's Mr. Carrington and Mr. Carrington Home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. We were never growing up, so we'd be young forever. You taught me how to love, now I think I'd be better than you and me, you and me, baby it was you and me. We could never fall, nobody could break us here, I thought we had it all. Take me back to when it was you and me, you and me, baby it was you and me. Yeah. <laughs>